the year was 2110, and Earth was in an apocalyptic state. Many have asked the question, how did it get this way? And what could we have done to prevent this? Well, I'm here to answer these questions. So how did this happen? Let's go back. Back when the well-being of the Earth was not top priority for most. Back when people just didn't care. All of our greed and selfishness has caused our planet, our only home, to suffer the consequences of our actions. A big part of the destruction of our Earth is caused by the usage of fossil fuels. These fossil fuels were not even burned to ensure our survival, but were instead used to sustain this lazy and comfortable lifestyle that we have grown so accustomed to. In 2010, the average person living in the United States used 350 gigajoules of energy. That is the same amount of power produced by burning 8 tons of crude oil. When these 8 tons of crude oil are burned, it releases 20 metric tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. Now multiply this amount by the 6.8 billion people in the world. These emissions are known as greenhouse gases. When these greenhouse gases accumulate in our atmosphere, they create a layer in our atmosphere. The more greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere, the thicker this layer gets. This layer of greenhouse gases traps some of the sun's rays within our atmosphere. This is known as global warming. This doesn't have to be our future. We can help save our Earth by treating it with the respect it deserves and start realizing that our actions have consequences. The question you need to ask yourself is, what world do you want to live in? The power is yours! In a world where everyone drove SUVs, CO2 emissions reached an annual 7 billion tons, but we didn't care. We were busy living in the now and not worrying about what kind of repercussions there would be in the future. Back then, we knew that a gallon of gasoline produced 19.4 pounds of CO2. It was made public that 2 million premature deaths were caused each year due to air pollution in cities across the world. Now we have to live with the consequences, which could have easily been prevented if we wouldn't have had been so naive. Now there are many pollutants in the air that if someone were to breathe without a protective mask, it would lead to serious illness such as lung disease, cardiovascular disease, cancer, and asthma. A study conducted on eight-year-olds in Mexico City made headlines. The findings of the study showed that children being exposed to high levels of polluted air reduced lung function, and growth. Hospitals are filled with patients every day due to the many outbreaks. Two new diseases have been identified as fatal. Approximately 506 people die each day. Doctors say the diseases became airborne in 2100. Since then, scientists have been working on cleaning the air of these fatal diseases, but say it is not possible. 
Too bad we didn't listen to all the warnings. <laughs>